Hey guys, my name's Jay. Welcome to my channel where I share my art projects. Uh, very excited because today I'm going to be doing the other half of the Vader Vans. So this is a previous project I started. I've got a time lapse video up for, so if you haven't seen it, check it out. And uh, those of you who know me know that I love Star Wars, um, especially the original stuff. Um, this is obviously Vader from the hallway scene in Rogue One, and uh, we're going to try and do a matching pair. If you guess what the, uh, the other one's going to be, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's do it quickly before we get started. Uh, materials: masking tape, electrical tape, some paint brushes and my trusty airbrush. So the paint products, I use the Too Soft Fabric Medium Adhesive. This allows the paint when going on softer fabrics to be a little bit more flexible. The Too Thin uh, allows me to thin the paint down for the airbrush use. And the acrylic finisher is essentially what I put on at the end of the shoe just to give it a little bit of extra protection to the, to the paintwork. Now finally the paints, I've used four colors, neon popsicle green, gift box blue, white and black. Now, the Angelus range is excellent. Uh, since I first purchased these, I haven't stopped purchasing them. I would love you guys to leave a comment. Uh, if you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you subscribe, I'll uh, probably see you around. Okay, so what I've done is I've already cut out a rough outline of uh, Luke. I've used like a, an adhesive sort of vinyl. Um, you get it from an art shop. You can use paper, I've used just paper before. Um, just cut it out by hand. You remember this is where it's gonna keep the shoe black. So the other thing we wanna do is outline the doorway. Just grab some masking tape. So remember his lightsaber is gonna be coming down on that side. Hold it in his right hand. So yeah, that looks pretty good there. For a start now, I've already mixed a little bit of gray in with the airbrush so we're just going to give it a really light coat and just make sure we hold the edge down so, but already you can see we've got that silhouette as i mentioned earlier um it's a good idea to put a little bit of the uh too thin into the airbrush to keep it nice and uh, smooth. So this is actually a uh, stencil offcut you might have seen in my time lapse video. Basically, it's um, you pop out the center and use that for texture. I've just kept hold of this because it works quite well for smoke effects and things. And you can see I've used this as a straight edge before. So. Now because this is coming out of the door and we were masking up the, uh, the doorway, we want the doorway to be exposed now. So we'll take these off. Get rid of them. All right, and so I've got a little bit of overspray here. I don't know if you can actually see that on the on the image, but that's absolutely fine. It'll add a little bit of depth, a little bit of um, interesting detail, you know, that you, you may not necessarily acknowledge in the final piece, but you know, it just looks like it's part of the part of the doors. All right, now. The floor that he's walking on basically you don't want it just to finish off black like that. I did with the Vader one because it's quite a dark image and his shadow would be cast quite a lot there. So what we want to do is we sort of want to finish up the uh, the bottom of his cloak and where his feet are and 
we can just do some details down the bottom just by freehanding it. Again, I like to just use my use my hand. And we might chuck in a little bit of smoke. A lightsaber I'll probably do last um, because you want that to be the, the part that pops, the part of the, the, the piece that you notice first and then you'll identify straight away what this is in terms of an image. Uh, obviously lightsaber is very iconic so we can put that on last and then do additional smoke effects on top to, um, to really make that stand out. So again you can use ripped up pieces of paper if you want. You can just get a bit of paper, tear it in sort of odd shapes and uh, do exactly the same as what I'm doing here. I just like to reuse a lot of materials that I've already got. What I'll do is I'll line this up where I want the smoke to sort of overflow over the doorway. It does help to kind of think uh, if there's a direction that it's moving, so it's naturally coming from the center and kind of flowing out. So if you airbrush and kind of move it outwards in that sense, um, you kind of create the movement by the direction. So that's the original paper um, cutout that I used to trace the sticky nylon uh, piece that I used to mask. So what I'll do is I'll probably cut that small piece of the belt out so that when I look at it on the shoe, I've got a pretty good idea of where that's gonna sit. So it's in the correct location and in the right proportion. So take me two seconds to cut this out. So what I'll do, it only needs to be very rough because we're gonna just touch this up with the brush in just a second. It's the easiest thing to do. It's just missed it. So you've kind of got the location right. Now it is the brightest on this side of the belt. So we're just going to apply. Right, so I think the next step will be the lightsaber. We'll um, use the original cutout that I did to get the, the figure silhouette masked off. And I've just cut the slit out for the lightsaber as well and we can lay that over here that way we get the, the angle the proportion all that sort of thing right and we're just going to spray that with the gray now what i'm thinking of doing is uh extending that saber out onto the shoe so what i might do is i might actually undo some of this possibly towards the end and extend that out but I probably won't do it now just to stop from getting any unwanted overspray um, and we'll focus on the fabric side of it first but I don't think it'll be too hard to um, continue that saber onto the, uh, the midsole. All right, so I've got the green loaded up uh, using uh, the popsicle green. And what we're gonna do is just lightly follow that lightsaber and then we'll make the green sort of flow away from that area. So 
So because Luke's saber is a slightly kind of emeraldy color, what I've done is I've added a little bit of uh, gift box blue to the green paint, um, just into the bottle here. Just mixed it up just to just to set that color off just a small amount. And uh, yeah, we'll just see what happens. Okay, so we're going to put uh, some more white through the core of the lightsaber blade just to make it pop a little bit more. And we'll do that with by freehand rather than using the the tape, the masking. So uh, probably want to be a little bit closer with the airbrush so you don't get so much overspray. Looking pretty good. Is add a little bit of white with the paintbrush uh, over the center of that lightsaber. I just feel that it's not not a hundred percent as bright as I'd like it to be. All right, so what we might do is uh, unmask it, see how it looks. Now, this is always the fun part where you uh, get rid of all the masking tape, uh, revealing almost your finished product in the end. A bit of Chewbacca fur in there. <laughs> Right. Get that out of the way. All right, last bit of tape. It's like I'm wrapping a present. Okay, so might need to just touch up some of the, the paint where it's gone through onto the rubber, but that is the easiest thing to do, so I'm not very fussed about that at all. We haven't got any uh, paint bleeding through any of the other part of the shoe. It's all been pretty protected. If it did go into the black, it's very easy just to, uh, to just use the black paint. It'll uh, cover it up very, very well. And um, yeah, I'll probably do some tiny little touch-ups just to finish that off um, I might leave the saber like that I don't think I'll, I don't think I will go into the rubber only because the rubber's got quite a bit of texture to it uh, and I think the different texture will be a little bit distracting won't make that saber look uh, as clean as I suppose it looks as it is there so but still very um, very striking in its color I think that'll uh, grab the attention of anybody and um, yeah, relatively quick Skywalker vans. Cheers for hanging out.